Okay, Shalom. Shalom. Kwa miyasha Allah. Kuhlo yimla Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Bahashim. Merkah HaKodash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. And that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. And just want to say the water to all the Akiyam Akwaf. That's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. To the best of their ability. This is Yachanan Nawaf. Just coming at you with another quick lesson. A little before camp lesson there. Um. Okay, so what you see here, they, well, you know, they kind of took a steal of a video of this guy, you know, getting on a bus and um, stabbing the bus driver a couple of times, you know what I'm saying, because of, you know, an adulterous relationship, you know what I'm saying, with his wife. And this guy's, um, he's 57, but the guy that he um, stabbed and killed was this guy right here who's 43, Leonardo Sebastian Figueroa. <laughs> and this other guy's name is, you know, they, this name is real popular over there. Um, Jesus, right? Jesus de Ojeda Calypso. Yeah, so he's 57. You know, he, he ended up jugging this guy up, younger guy, dealing with his woman, you know, and his, you know, people on the bus identified him, all that good stuff. So I'm not going to read through the story, but, you know, the guy ended up getting caught. His wife ended up, you know, popping up at the jail, you know. Trying to, yeah. Anyway, but it was all pretty much on her, on her end. That woman, man. You know, uh, that's why the apostles always talks about that woman. You know, be be careful of these women, and, and just know that they're capable of anything, man. You know, you can't just go out of your wits for um, women, man. The scriptures talked about that. You know, so now this guy, he's gonna. One guy's dead, of course, and this other guy's more than likely. He's fifty-seven, man. He's gonna he's gonna die in it in, in jail, more than likely, or. He'll be there when the missiles come. You know what I'm saying? But when the Lord comes, he'll be in there, you know, so to speak, if his ass is still alive. But, you know, I just wanted to grab a couple of these comments. Really is why I wanted to do the um, lesson because these people in the comments, they just like, well, he should have, you know, dealt with the woman. That's, you know, it was her fault. You know, it had nothing to do with the man. But there are men, man, that know that these women are married and they still deal with them. So they have just as much to do with it as they're, they're just as at fault, if not more at fault. Because if a woman is telling you that they're, you know, they're married and you're, you're continually, continuously pursuing them, you know, then you're in the wrong. Now, had she lied to him and said, nah, you know, I'm single, that's something different. That's something different. But overall, you know, a lot of men, they do know that these women be dealing with somebody already. And most women are. If a woman really tell you that she's a um, single, I'm not saying that it's like that all the time, but. If they see something that you have or if they feeling like, you know, you can do better for them as opposed to their man, hey, they're going to tell you that they're they're single, man. You know, they'll, they'll or, you know, it's a, they call it, what they call it, a situationship or it's, ro you know, it's rocky. It's not um, going too well. Um, we've been, you know, because when you, even when you're dealing with a woman and she say, okay, we've been um, apart for a month, two months, you know. They're pretty much newly single. You you even want to you know you 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 want to back away from even shit like that, because people don't lose feelings that quickly. Anything you know they they there there's a chance that they could pop up. There's a chance they can get that phone call, that text, you know whatever whatever. And next thing you know you dealing you know, you know because relationships, especially if people have been together for years, that two month um 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 separation or that three month separation or whatever case may be, that shit don't man. It can be years, <laughs> you know, it, you know, because that heart is attached. And generally, that's the way that it's supposed to be anyway, you know, with a man and a woman, especially if it's, you know, that's rare these days that a woman is. um, She only had slept with that one man, you know, but because, you know, here in these Americas, you know, women have multiple partners. Um, Anyway, the comments, though. This person says, if your spouse cheats. You need to settle it with your spouse, not the lover. Your spouse is the one who made the promise, not to you and not their lover. Okay, that may be the case, but that's not the way that the scriptures talks about it. So let's get this scripture right here. Proverbs 6 and 30. Let me see here. Let's start at verse. Let's get 29. Uh, let me see. Hold on. Uh, well, let's start at 20. Well, this is kind of twofold. 
when he's talking about this because it can go into philosophy or it can go into um, a physical regular woman on earth, you know. But Proverbs 6 and let's start at 24. To keep thee from the evil woman, from the flattery of the tongue of a strange woman, lust not after her beauty in thine heart, neither let her take thee with thy with her eyelids for by means of of whore, for by means of a horse woman a man is brought to a piece of bread and the adulteress will hunt for the precious life can a man take fire in his bosom and his clothes not be burned can one go upon hot coals and his feet not be burned so he that goeth into his neighbor's wife whosoever toucheth her shall not be innocent and this is from the lord you know now this could be um um you know Adultery as far as on um, spiritual adultery, you know, because you know us as Israelites you so-called blacks Hispanics and Native Americans The Lord is our husband so to speak, you know what I'm saying? We, we belong to the Lord So if we go into any other religions or any other um get to serving other gods and things of that nature That's spiritual adultery and the Lord is, is a jealous power That's the reason why he has dealt with us the way that he's dealt with us to this day You know, that's the reason why we're in this captivity under the so-called white man scattered throughout the four corners of the earth all over the place because we committed that spiritual adultery. But now, this could also, it's twofold because it could go into um, physical adultery right here on this planet. Right? It says, let's jump down to verse 32. It says, but whosoever committed adultery with a woman lacketh understanding. He that doeth it destroyeth his own soul. See? So that guy, that, you know, the bus driver, that he caught the business. He destroyed his own soul. Now, in the ancient days, they would have both been put to death, him and her, had, had he known. Now, had he not known, if she just said, you know, you know, again, if she was fronted like she was single, that man wouldn't have been guilty of that crime. You know what I'm saying? But if he knew that she was married, then he would have been put to death along with her ass. But now these days, in this day and time, in Esau Edom's kingdom, the so-called white man's kingdom, where he has everything upside down and backwards as hell, you know, that woman, she gets to live on. And guess what? She's going to go and find somebody else. This nigga going to jail. This other guy already, um, um, you know, dead. And, and, and if she's attractive enough, she's going to get that box up to somebody else if she's not already got somebody on the side to get that box to already. So these dudes are doomed, <laughs> you know, because of a wicked-ass woman. When If the guy, if she done that, he should have just been like, hey, look, you got to pack your things and get the fuck out of this house. I'm not going anywhere. You got to go. <laughs> And move on with your life. You know, things hurt. You know, you, you know, you have, um, you know, feelings for a person, you know, of course. But, you know, it's best to just nah, go ahead and kick rocks, man. Get the fuck out of here. Go do what you're going to do. Because you're not worth going to jail for. You're not worth me um, um, fucking my life up for, you know. But anyway, verse 33, it says, a wound and dishonor shall he get. And his reproach shall not be wiped away for jealousy. Is the rage of a man. This is the point that I wanted to get here. For jealousy is the rage of a man. Therefore he will not spare in the day of, of vengeance. Here you go. You driving a damn bus man. I've never understood bus drivers talking shit to people. To passengers. Or any, any of that. You know you, I think in a position like that. You got to just take the low road. You got to take the L anyway. You don't want to be talking shit to no passengers. I get it. You know you got a job to do. You explain to them what's going on. But you know I've seen bus drivers that's just fucking ignorant as hell when it comes to the passengers and here you go you doing the same route every day this guy know your route or this woman knows your route all they got to do is get on a couple of uh, stops back or uh you know get on a couple of stops up or they know you're doing the same route <laughs> you got to open the damn door when they see you know when you stop at the stop and, and, and some guy he jumps on you know what i'm saying and, and get the jug in your ass there's plenty of that doesn't happen here in Detroit here, man. A lot of, um, um, they, you know, they pretty much, you know, I guess they're trying to put police. They got um, little undercover police officers, some in uniform, though. They got, you know, it's really only on the buses that's downtown, you know what I'm saying, where white people come and enjoy their little, you know, baseball and football games and shit like that. They don't give a fuck about Jake in the city. So, um, but yeah, they'll put, um, you know, uniform officers on those buses. To, you know, deter some of the crime that's going on. Because, hey, people be on those buses wilding the fuck out, man. You're dealing with all kinds of Negroes, you know, so to speak, man, uh, in, in these, these cities, man. Anyway, though, verse 35, it says, He will not regard any ransom, neither will he rest content 
though thou givest many gifts. So this man not trying to accept no money. Oh man, I got a million dollars. I give you, I give you this, I give you that, bro. You don't have to do this to me. You know what? Nah, dude, not trying to hear that. Dude, not trying to hear that. That's one thing about men when they got that jealousy streak. You can offer them the world, and they not accepting that shit. They want your life, goddammit. it. That's overall what they want. But you know, just a quick little before camp lesson. I seen this, and I'm looking at these damn comments because most of these comments are saying the same old thing. This person says, "I would never call the person being cheated on jealous. That is a that is a pissed off situation. Affairs should never happen. This bus driver should have never been stabbed like that." You need to beat the bitch having the affair <laughs> because she is just as guilty as the person committing the crime. This person says that the affair happened because the husband was a bum. No, the, the affair happened because Esau Edom, the so-called white man, is running the earth and he's the wicked. And he gives the woman that ability to get abroad. You know, he's the one that set it up where a woman can be out all kinds, all, all times of night doing what the fuck she want to do. And, and she could call dial 911 if her husband says, no, you can't go or no. You know what I'm saying? Like he, he set all that up. Then you had these GoFundMe pages and, you know, they motherfuckers just letting go balloons and lighting candles and all this other shit for these hoes. You know, <laughs> like, you know, and, and, and I have a, a GoFundMe page, raise all kinds of money, getting all kinds of sympathy when she should have had her ass at home. But Esau Edom, like I said, the so-called white man, he, he has made it to the point where a woman can leave her house, leave her man and her damn kids at the house and go on a motherfucking trip for three months if she want to. And there's nothing he can do about it. And then once she comes back, if he tries to move on with his life and take the children, the court is going to be all on her side. Well, why did you leave, man? Well, I needed a vacation. OK, well, um, sir. She's going to have to have the kids back. <laughs> you know, you're going to have to let her back into the house, sir. But, sir, I, but, your honor, I, you know, look at all these photos of her with this other man. Well, sir, that's not you still. You have to let her back in the home. That, you know, this place is stupid as fuck, bro. It's backwards as hell. It's upside down. And it's because Esau Edom, the so-called white man, is running the planet. And this shit is rampant throughout the world now because this is a, 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 an American shit. But America has pushed their influence on everybody, man. This shit is all over the globe now. This guy's a damn disease. He's a cancerous disease. So a lot of these nations, they, they especially the Edomite nations, we already know these NATO nations, EU nations, anywhere with so-called white people rule, they're all fucked up anyway. But they act as if they're the righteous, you know what I'm saying? But they're the most brutal people on the fucking planet, man. And they're not capable of running anything. Let's get... um. Another one in Proverbs, Proverbs 22 and 9, no, 29 and 2, Salakia. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked beareth rule, the people mourn. See? The people are mourning because this man is in rulership. Now, it, you actually have, the, you know, these people that really think that they're, you know, they're happy and they're in a happy situation. They don't fucking know what happiness is, really. The only real true time that people are going to know what, what it's like to be at peace, so to speak, is going to be when the... Um, the you know, when the kingdom comes, man, you know, our our, our Lord comes and, and gets the Israelites out of the hands of our enemies. We're going to know what, what real true peace is like because we're going to put it on their asses. But even them, they're going to be somewhat, you know, at ease of knowing, OK, well, shit, the way that the world was being ran before, that shit was some bullshit. These guys really know what they're doing. They really know how to run this place, <laughs> you know, so. I mean, it is what it is, man. Uh, you can get one in the Apocrypha real quick. Let me see here. The, the Apocrypha, man. Um, um, Ecclesiastes chapter 25 and verse 20, and chapter 26. Got a real beautiful layout, man, for these women. So like you, damn ice cream truck trying to get that last little money. Getting cold. It's getting cold out, buddy. Uh, let's see here, Salakia. Ecclesiasticus chapter 25. And like I said, verse, chapter 25 and chapter 26, man. It gets down, man, on that woman, man. Whew. Verse 13. Ecclesiasticus 25 and 13. Give me any plague but the plague of the heart 
and any wickedness but the wickedness of a woman. All right? Let's go on. Let's see here. Uh, the wickedness, verse 17. Now, let me see. No, verse 16. Let's start there again. I had rather dwell with a lion and a dragon than to keep house with a wicked woman. The wickedness of a woman changes her face and darkeneth her countenance like, like sackcloth. Her husband shall sit among his neighbors, and when he heareth it, shall sigh bitterly. All wickedness is but little to the wickedness of a woman. Let the portion of a sinner fall upon her. As the climbing up a sandy way is to the feet of the aged, so is a wife full of words to a quiet man. <laughs> Stumble not at the beauty of a woman and desire her not for pleasure. See, that's pretty much what that bus driver did. He probably, you know, she's probably nice looking. Probably had been seeing her every day. She was probably getting on the bus every day, letting her ride for free. You don't have to pay your fare, you know. And ended up getting it and ended up getting fucked up. Verse 22, a woman, if she oh, okay, no, let's let's uh Yeah, we can read let's read on. A woman, if she maintain her husband, is full of anger, impudent impudency, and much reproach. A woman, a wicked woman, abateth the courage, maketh the heavy countenance, and wounded heart and a wounded heart. A woman that will not comfort her husband in distress maketh weak knees, so like you make it weak hands and feeble knees. Of the woman came the beginning of sin, and through her we all die. Give the water no passage, neither a wicked woman liberty to gather abroad. If she go not as thou wouldest, have her, cut her off from thy flesh, and give her a bill of divorce and let her go. And this is what this guy should have done. You know, the 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 the, the stabber. Instead of blowing his life going to jail for this hoe. He should have just, you know, hey, here's her bill of divorce. If he had the proof of it, you know, whatever, whatever. Go ahead and go about your way. You want to be with the bus driver? Go be with the bus driver. Guess what? The bus driver going to be like, oh, no, I'm married myself. You can't come to my home. You know, but anyway, that's what he should have done. He should have gave her that bill of divorce. He should have went through the proper channels, got a divorce from this bitch, and kept his life moving. But, you know, a, a, you know, a man at that age, 57... Who knows how long he had been with this woman. He could have been with this woman, man, since he was in his damn teens. And, and that, that, you know, that that's where, you know, that je that real jealousy blows through, man. It's like it just, it overtakes a guy. And, 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 and deep down, I mean, shit, what he done, you know what I'm saying? Um, scripturally, it, you know, hey, <laughs> that nigga deserved to die. He was supposed to die. That's That's the Bible. And I'm willing to bet you all these motherfuckers to tell you that they're Christians and that they believe in white Jesus. No, oh, he can be forgiven. You know, but hey, I mean, in this damn time, yeah, you know, hey, we do have that door of grace. You can't be forgiven for certain things. You know what I'm saying? But that judgment, ooh, to the woo-woo. <laughs> you know? Yeah, it's a lot of stuff, man, that we've done. You know what I'm saying? And we don't deserve, um, we just don't deserve on the Lord, man. You know, but hey, yeah, he has, um, you know, Open up that door of grace for us, what, you know, for, you know, what Yahweh Shai done for us, you know. But these are people more than likely they believe in white Jesus, which is a damn idol. And a lot of these Christians, man, they they, they don't live up to what the Bible be saying, man. You know, they, they, they don't believe in the Bible like that. You get to bring out certain scriptures. They only got the certain scriptures that they like. You know, they don't, they don't want to deal with the ones that um, offends them, so to speak. But you got to take the whole book, man. You got to take the good with the bad in the book, you know. But yeah, he hey, he got what he deserved, man. And she, her ass should have got it too. But eventually she'll get it, you know. She she'll more than likely get it. She'll 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 pay for her little part in the crime, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, yeah, just a quick little lesson. I wanted to just do that before I um, headed out to camp. Um, but hey, man, be careful with these women, man. Be careful with them. You don't want to just be pulling up at their house and don't have them pulling up at yours. You know, you go if you meet somebody new, shit, meet up somewhere where it's, you know, this shit is, you know, lit. <laughs> you know, lit, you know, somewhere in the daytime, you know what I'm saying? Hey, let's, you know, you, you meet up and you 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 get to know them from there, you know, and, and move on from there, you know, type of deal, man. Don't be just be pulling up at some chick crib, man, and you know, getting all tipsy and shit, you know. And and, and, and you know, or letting her pull up to your shit. 
Because you just never know. She might have a nigga following her or a nigga that's stalking her house anyway. That's a lot of what be happening a lot of the times. You know what I'm saying? Niggas pull up on, 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 on a bitch house three months later. You know? But anyway, it's with that, man. I pray that the lesson was edifying. Come on, y'all, and a bubble ball.